are following breaking news tonight after a school bus is shot several times. Good evening, I'm Joey Parker. And I'm Marissa Holloway. Right now, investigators have cleared the scene of the shooting at Elm and Marshall. ABC 17's Joe McLean joins us there live, and Joe Police are looking for the shooter. They are right now, Joey and Marissa. They don't. They weren't able to give me any suspect information, though, right now. But I'm here at the uh, 500 block of East Elm Street, where about two hours ago, police say they received a call of multiple gunshots fired. Four of them, they say, there's evidence that that hit a school bus full of elementary students from East School. Now, Jefferson City uh, Police and the Jefferson City Public School System here says that they uh, that none of the students on the bus were injured, and they were quickly taken uh, away from the area and transferred onto another bus and then taken home. They, uh, the school, uh, the school uh, district also tells us that uh, the, the parents of those students were contacted immediately after the incident. Uh, and Jefferson City Police say they're working uh, with neighborhood, uh, uh, with the community action team. They're working hard to get the suspects in custody as soon as possible. These are children that were on a school bus that could have been shot and killed. So, um, you know, we really need to, to get the folks responsible for this off the streets now, and we need the public to help us do that. Uh, we intend to track them down, but we would like to do that a, a lot quicker uh, with the help of the public and get some of that information in, because it could have been their kids on that school bus, and it could have been worse had the school bus or had the shooting um, resulted in uh, a child being shot. Now, you can, of course, submit uh, uh, a tip anonymously to uh, Jefferson City uh, Police by calling the, uh, the uh, anonymous tips line. Uh, we'll have a, uh, that on our website, abc17news.com. Jefferson City Public School says they're going to make counselors available to those students who were on the bus during the shooting uh, in case they need any counseling. And we've got crews out here on the scene working uh, to uh, get uh, some information from neighbors, to hear, hear from neighbors and uh, residents of this area. We'll have all that coming up on ABC 17 News uh, later tonight. Reporting live in Jefferson City, Joe McLean, ABC 17 News.